Okay, so we're back and we're covering lower extremity long bones. And so the first long bone we come across is the femur. Femur is known as the biggest bone in the body. And I remember this with the old line, fee fi fo fum from the giant and Jack and the Beanstalk. So I think of fee for femur and giant since it's the biggest bone in the body. Also, again, if you're having trouble differentiating between the humerus and the femur, because they kind of look similar, remember that the femur eventually connects to the foot while the humerus eventually connects to the hand. For identification, so we again have this, this ball joint at the end, just kind of like the humerus, but at the distal end, we have these condyles, which create the knee joint. So if you end up with these condyles here, you can kind of put them, you see that we have a little F, it kind of makes an F, and that's kind of how I remember it. So F for femur. Going into the lower leg, we have the tibia here and the fibula on the outside. And the way I remember that is the tibia is thick like a tuba, and the fibula is thin like a flute. For identification, if you can imagine that this part of the model is gone, the tibia actually has a nice little tabletop. So I think tabletop for tibia. It's also called the tibial plateau. For the fibula, I think of Dracula because it has this really nice fang that makes up the outer part of the ankle, the lateral malleolus. So if you see a big fang, you think of Dracula, you think of fibula. All right, for the feet, we have the metatarsals. And remember, your carpals are in your hands and your tarsals are in your feet. And you remember that by saying, you drive a car with your hands for carpals and you step in tar with your feet for tarsals. Just like in the hands, the tarsals are all squished together, as you can see here. And the metatarsals come afterwards. They are the meta, meaning after or beyond the tarsals. And finally, the toes are also called the phalanges, just like the fingers. And the way you remember the phalanges is they look like a fork. So you have the prongs of a fork, so fork for phalanges. And that covers the long bones of the body. I hope some of these tips helped. And as always, good luck on your next test.